Welcome to the post-lesson edition of Bushmills and Bogies. This ought to be exciting. Welcome back to another installment of Bushmills and Bogies. A middle-aged bearded fat man's quest to consistently shoot in the 80s. My name is Andy, I'm on the course and fatter than ever, and this is my quest. Since I'm already sitting here in the cart, so you know I'm at the course, let's get right to the footage. Let's pick it up here on the par three, number three, at Toft Trees Golf Resort. And let's pause a second to enjoy the sounds of nature. Here you see me going through all the steps that I learned in my lesson. I'll go through these in more detail later. It's a nice little fade that hit the front of the green and rolled all the way back to about three, four feet from the pin. I'll take it. Little knee knocker. First birdie of the year. Fourth tee box after a huge birdie. Normally I would shit my pants here, but you may be surprised. Yeah, that's right, dead center, baby. Today's outfit consists of a striped original penguin polo, a pair of Petey on the Green original penguin shorts, and a hat from Tattoo Golf. Here I am going through the steps that I learned at my lesson again. I'll go through those in detail on the next tee shot. That shot went left across my body, so I wasn't able to trace it. Sorry. Here's the third shot on the fourth hole. Um, I just missed the green a little to the left, so I'm going to have to chip on. Once again, going through the steps from my lesson. I'll get to that. Not my worst chip ever, but certainly not my best. Let's see if I can get up and down. This clip was really dark for some reason, so I screwed around a little in edit to brighten it up. I don't know if it looks phony or not, but uh, it's the best I could do in a rushed circumstance. Things I'm trying to remember here from my lesson is just having the club face just like it lays, you know, just a little bit of where it appears just a little closed. And I want to see two knuckles. My grip has always been pretty good. And then the interlock. Then I'm just trying today to keep my legs not that far apart. Um, I 
then I want my ang my shoulders square maybe even a little tilted to give me a little cheat code to get back and then I want the grip relaxed and I want my chin up that's the one that's hard for me to remember so let's see what happens when we put it all together That ain't bad. I don't know if that trap's in play, but that ain't bad. Fifth hole, second shot. Uh, fun fact, that drive was the furthest that I've ever hit it on this hole. Uh, so I got that going for me. I figured and completely expected after I did that whole spiel of what I learned on my lesson to just throw up all over myself, but I didn't. A little thin, a little thin, but a lot better than my normal thins, which you saw which you saw a boatload of in the last video. All right, it's a nice day out here. It's not real crowded. We've got a decent separation. I originally thought the guys walking ahead of me, I thought the one guy was the guy from the post office. This guy, he's like uh, an old curmudgeon and I couldn't imagine him golfing, but it, it looked just like him. But then when I got up closer, I saw that it wasn't him. That, that's, that would have been the shocker of, of the decade for me because I can't imagine that guy from the post office golfing. Um, and if, if you're watching guy from the post office, I mean, I respect you. Um, this is just uh, no, you know, no hard feelings. Uh, just, uh, just my opinion. Stop recording. Stop recording. I know I'm probably too close to the ball for you to see the ball, but it's not in the trap. Got a little knee knocker though over the trap. Um, I hit it thin, but I uh, really wasn't penalized because I'm almost like pin high. So this one's probably going to be ugly, but uh, let's see. Get up, get on, roll down. Nope. Hey, I'll take it, it cleared. That chip was probably actually like two feet from being perfect. So I'm just gonna putt from off of here because I'm not gonna get any closer otherwise. Not bad. You might have noticed I was putting before with one hand. Um, I noticed that I've been flipping my wrists. So this round for the short putts, I'm going to concentrate on just uh, the stroke. So I'm not really doing a score here. This is a after practice inventory or after lesson inventory. Well, I'm here on the ninth hole. So that's going to do it for this week's video. Um, thanks for tuning in as always. And remember, a bush in the hand is worth two in the bird. Damn it. Damn it. We'll see you next time.